hi welcome back to the news section on this episode i'm going to be showing you how to model an overhead tank okay so um let's view this in 3d you can see this is an overhead tank but was done with a, a reinforced concrete uh, column so i am going to model something like this where i'm going to be using a steel column okay so um this is a guard this is a guard you can see this is a column this is also a guard so uh let's jump right into it so as usual i'm going to create a new project and uh, bs8110 uh sorry tang stan steel i'll make it i'll change it to steel Still, still, okay. All right. So, if we look at uh, this. Sorry, this tank we have one, two, three, four. So we are going to design it in one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll create six stories. Okay. Um, six stories. So uh, let's start. I'm going to use the orthogonal axis generator this time around. So, times one, times one. Mm, this width is too much. Let's say three five. Okay, let's say this is what we have then I will insert the number of story and I'll name it six okay yes then I will come to edit story this story I'm going to make this 500 as usual and I'll click on ok don't worry, I will edit the other stories and uh, this one should even be 600 or thereabout. Mm, let's say 600. Uh, so let's go to story one, uh, story one, which is this. I will insert my column uh, 400 by 400. Please don't cram <laughs> the cross section as 400 by 400. So just uh, you can adopt a still a, a reinforced concrete uh, section that will be more suitable for you. Uh, like the emphasis I always make, I make emphasis on uh, safety and economical. Okay. So. Uh, I will come to story story five. On story five, this is where I'm going to insert my column. I will insert firstly I'm going to create views 3D physical 
and I'll create this this way. Now I'm going to create that steel column on story five, and you're going to see why I did that because I want this column to be a single steel member. Uh, I can do it the other way around by separating them in each stories. That means I'm going to be having them floor by floor. Each story, I'm having a steel, a steel column, steel column, separate, separate. That means we'll have to use a hunch connection to actually connect a column column connection okay so um but in a case where i don't want to have that i can just have this column to just come straight down all right okay but uh let's see for the sake of uh, practice for the sake of practice let me let me do this this way let me even if I use a mirror. Okay, let me just let me reproduce this somewhere here. So uh, I'm going to have the same column. So it's like I'm having two different model here. So let me come to story five. So or uh, let me come to story two. This one I'm going to be having the columns on each story. So I will create a column steel column I will insert insert oh sorry I'm in story 2 I'm supposed to go to story 2 click on the window double click on story 2 uh, click on steel I will insert 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 then i will select all this and i will generate member that's if i select i will right click and i will click on generate members to other story so i will highlight up to story 5 and i'll click on ok and i'll click on yes now you can see what i have here so in this case I'm going to do it this other way around. I'm already in story 5. I will click on steel column and I will click on I will insert it here. Now you can see the columns are hanging. But I'm going to do something very quickly. I'll select these columns and I'll right click and uh, I will go to properties then this lean lean to story okay story one let's see no okay uh, I will lean to story five is going to take it down uh, property Forgive me if I forget this. Uh, I think this is what I'm good exactly. So I'm correct. So I I took it down to the fifth story downward. Okay, so you can see this is a single steel member. So and uh, you know the entire length of your steel member when you go to the market. I think this should be able to serve let's see we have 12 12 meters okay so 
uh, even though you know it's not uh, <laughs> getting a full 12 meters length is, is difficult but if if we are able to get it at the exact 12 meter even though the standard length if i'm not mistaken is 12 meters uh, but uh, most times when you go to the market you don't find it at that uh, length it's mostly 11 or even less than 11. now uh but let's say we have this these two different cases anyway so however you feel you want to design this so you can see we have our columns this way so um for this case now i will come here i will come to story two uh let me come to story two i will come to my steel beam and i will draw my beams So what I'm going to do now is to generate these members up to the last floor by selecting all, click on generate member, I will generate up to story 5 and I'll click and I'll click yes. So I can do similarly for this as well, all I need to do is just to go around this. Then I will select the members. I will right click generate members up to story two. Nice. You can see it's making sense. Okay, but I think this beam was not selected. So I will select generate member and I'll click OK now everything is selected well properly so however i can create a a brace for all of this i can create the brace however i want to probably brace this okay so however I want to brace this I can brace so you can see from all that we have been doing is just modeling is actually like 80 percent of the job you will do on uh, when we come to uh, having your but you can see this one now if i try to brace this if i try to brace this you can see it's a single the single brace okay you can see a single brace As it's just a single brace so however you want to model this uh, and for as long as you analyze and you see that uh, it passes then you are good to go so however you want to analyze this uh, the main thing is to understand how to come up with your model okay how to come up with your model is very very important and when we come to our story 5 here now at the story 5 we can have an offset of let's say uh, 300 sorry f2 minus 300 Offset F two three hundred 
offset F2 300 you offset uh, F2 three minus 300 so Um, I can create uh, I can create a pull line for this tail member okay so I can as well even uh, if I have a pull line like this, I can really just have an offset, uh, like a cantilever for this. It can come out 300, 300, and I click OK. So it can come out this way. I can decide to have it the other way. Okay, let's say I have it this way as well. So you can see it can deliver us this way. Okay. So I can create a panel at the first floor. Okay, let's say we have this this way. Then for this case, uh, I'm going to do similarly, but I'm going to actually have uh Let's say I have it in reinforced concrete slab. I can have a cladding here. Uh, all I need to do is just to click on this, and I'll click OK. So I'm I'm basically going to go as far as explaining the loadings uh, on on this design uh, because we are going to subject all the members we have actually. Uh, model to load okay so we are definitely going to come back to subjecting this all to load uh, knowing the size of uh, the uh, tank that will be resting on this the volume of water is going to be carrying and all of that so that loading will subject this to that loading okay so we are going to definitely be demonstrating that okay and as well we can have a let's say we have a slab this will we have to load sorry I'll close this I'm going to take it all over again then cancel it if I click on slab it will ask me to load cases because there, there is what we call load cases and combination uh, you are going to see that uh, as we proceed was when we want to do the analysis of these models that we have modeled okay 
so we are going to go through load cases and combination okay you are going to see how we are going to use this so but for me to use a reinforced concrete it will ask me for load cases and if i'm having both concrete and a steel member in my model i will have to check this okay so uh use crack cracked section in all vertical load combination uh, if I'm going to be considering a wind load I will check on wind load okay so I will click on ok so but all of this we are going to consider uh, when we want to really really do the analysis of our members but like I told you the major work you need to do when it comes to uh, when it comes to when it comes to any design in proto structure uh, you you spend 80 percent of your time trying to come up with the model so the modeling is actually where the major work is okay so once you are able to achieve your modeling you are good to go so uh here i'm going to use the the poly line to achieve this okay so I will use the poly line. Uh, so here, if I come to my slab, I can easily just click here. And you can see that uh, my slab has been inserted. Okay, so but uh, if you see the thickness of this panel, I can increase it to 150. And I'll update and I'll close. So I'm going to do something quickly on this. I'm going to be adding uh, a column at some point. Uh, let's come to sorry let's come to this and i'm going to pick a very small section so let me pick this and i'll click ok and i'll click ok so i will just insert Okay, MS Story 5, D here, sorry, I'm supposed to do this in Story 6. So that's the essence of creating the Story 6 I did. So I will come to my Story 6, I will double click. So uh, mind you, I'm doing it for this one here. So on my Story 6, I will come to this. I can probably even sorry I'll pick this steel column I can probably even use or offset this in a way if I want this to be resting in not here if I don't want this to rest here because this is definitely uh, the edge so I can simply just offset this a bit inside and say I will offset F250 I will do similarly for this F250 so this is you basically trying to just come up with your model so the modeling like I said takes the major part of your design in proto structure once you can come up with a proper model uh, you are good to go but mind you you need to have basic foundation on design because this softwares if you don't really understand designs uh, so practical example uh, experience matters a whole lot and design experience over time most especially if you have been into manual designs and all 
uh, will really really help you a lot in making choice of your steel cross sections because sometimes these softwares uh, probably out of ignorance you may provide or insert a very wrong steel cross section or whatever is not really uh, uh, practicable in Nigeria okay so it's very possible for for that to happen so in that case uh, it is it is advisable that uh, you have a foundation a very good foundation in design before you can go into design okay uh, I, I think I made a mistake here this column has uh, something okay let me go to edit story okay this is 600 okay lean to roof properties lean okay this is where the problem is so i'll take it back to one our updates okay so i'll do similarly for all of them uh, all right good okay so if you want to have it at the center here you can as well have it at the center uh, just let me measure this I just want to do something quick this is 3500 if we divide it by 2 divided by 2 you have 1750 so I can offset this uh, F2 minus 1757 I think okay then uh, similarly I will just uh, insert my steel column here okay so I can do the same way for this as well just to offset this by F2 1750 enter and uh, I will insert my steel column uh, which is hollow okay this is a hollow like a pole you know? so uh, here I can simply create a gut click here click here okay I'll come back sorry uh, click spacing height here is one meter so it's way beyond the height of that uh, story the story height is even 600 so I can make this at 200 okay so you can change the cross section of your guard and make it way more smaller than this if you can come and change if you have a smaller section or you check the euro code uh, you probably have a way more smaller cross section that you can adopt okay so like i said when we analyze 
and we design we will be able to tell where the cross section is too large and so whatever I'm doing now is deliberate I just want us to considering those who have never really probably done a steel design before or who do not really even have experience on design on steel so uh, but over time you will be able to get take this take this what is it it's not working <sighs> sorry take you again tick pick okay pick I just want to have this here. Okay, this is not big. okay I don't want to waste too much time on this but this is basically how to insert your your guts uh, it's taking a long time to insert that uh, so to have like a ladder for this let's say I want to have a ladder here uh, all I need to do is to come to the plan view here as story six okay so let's have a ladder there uh, let's see I want to use this click OK uh, sorry let me have Let me offset this by F2 600. So I'm going to have this still pick, pick this, select, click OK, or click. and uh, I'll click so let's see what we have where did I insert you Okay, it was inserted here on this one that has a okay. Oh, look at it here. It's here, but this is not where I want this to be. Sorry. Okay, this is where I want this to be actually. So I will offset this 
by 600 f2 600 uh sorry this is going to be in story 5 i'll switch to story 5 story 5 offset f2 600 so i will insert this i will set cross section that cross section looks too small uh, let me pick this click ok so i will insert it here and insert this one here so Your column looks too small. Uh, let me use this cross section. So now I will place it here instead. Okay. Yeah, perfect. This is where I'm supposed to place this. I can rotate this. Uh, it click ok sorry rotate okay so let's let's say we have this this way i will select select right click go to the property uh i will use the link i will send it down to story five to five uh, so it's going to take it down to this level the, the design is becoming very large so it's becoming a bit slow so to actually have a ladder I will just click on that click here click here I will come to this sag rod and I will turn off my sag rod I will come to the geometry here and then this spacing I will make it uh, okay let's say 250 now click on ok so you can see what we have here okay so this is basically what we have all right so you can go further to add whatever you want to add to your model just to spice it up to make it look more realistic and all that because all of this is adding load one way or the other to the structural members okay so once you have your model right you can be able to analyze the structure and then the software will automatically uh, design it for us okay 
so uh, uh, in the next section we are actually going to basically be um, focusing more on uh, uh, the loading okay so we are going to cover the loading uh, that is actually uh, on each of the structural members which we have actually uh, modeled okay uh, we have modeled a warehouse uh, we have actually modeled a stand we have modeled uh, uh, a water tank uh, stand and uh, so we are going to analyze all of this and then the software will design it before we can now take our model now to the protest team uh, where we are going to generate our connections okay so i will see you in the next section